exclusive breastfeeding in Cameroon stands at 28%, which remains a serious problem. It is recommending that babies receive exclusive breast milk for at least six months to avert health uh, complications. But the reality on the ground now is a different health expert say. As days go by, the rate at which mothers breastfeed uh, babies exclusively with breast milk rather keeps a dropping in a uh, Cameroon. Why is it so difficult for mothers to breastfeed their children? What is the role of men in breastfeeding? We should be blamed for the low rate of breastfeeding in Cameroon. In today's edition of Turn Up, a program that seeks to empower women and the girl child with talking breastfeeding stimulus. <music> Welcome to another exciting edition of the program Turn Up on Canal the English. We are talking about a uh, women, we are talking about the young girl, and today we are talking breast uh, feeling. And if you are just tuning in to Canal the English, the program is a turn up, it will provide uh, you with in depth analysis on today's topic, which is uh, breastfeeding. But we are particularly looking at the role of the men in breast uh, feeling. Why are women refusing to breastfeed? Uh, via are our children and to talk about this topic we have three wonderful women with us in the studio i'll start with you mrs asa maria she is a vice principal of lycee abonaberry in the city of jola you're welcome to the program thank you maureen thank you nicoline now we equally have a young mother ebune nicoline you are a jurist yes i am now you are also into Insurance, insurance as well, yeah. All right. Now we are also going to be having a nutritionist. She's an expert. She's going to tell us how this breastfeeding, how we can do, or how we can oblige mothers to do exclusive breastfeeding for their children. You are watching. You want your reactions on the number you are going to see on your TV screen at six seven two one nine four three. Five, seven. You can equally tag us on our Facebook page. Just type uh, turn up and you can link to us on today's edition of the program. You can equally react on Canal the English uh, Facebook uh, page. Now let's come back to our guests in the studio. They are all uh, women. They are dressed in their beautiful attire. I'll begin with you, Mrs. Asa Maria. Now, your mother. For how long have you been married? Close to 30 years mm. and having five children mm. whom I all breastfed mm. joyfully. Mm. Now, with the five children you had, how did you do Not the breastfeeding? Let's start with the first. Yeah, you know, being uh, having the first child, I was so excited to breastfeed my child. Being a girl especially, I just told everyone, tell, told them that I'm going to feed my child for the next one year. How wow. old were you then? I was 29 mm -hmm. when I had my first daughter. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, I breastfed her close to six months. As uh, a modern woman would say, the nature of my job. So they didn't allow me to feed her up to one year. So I had to, what I think I did so was six months exclusively on breast milk. Mm -hmm. Now, and the rest of the children? Same. I did so six months exclusively, exclusively breast milk. For the five children? For the, all the five children. And after six months? Sorry? After six months, what happened? After six months, I had to introduce them to the bottle feeding and other meals like hard food but actually did i breastfed my children six months exclusively you did not include uh, bottles bottles not water even and i think i succeeded and now after the six months did you like add the bridge were you breastfeeding and then giving the child yes i did um, i mixed <coughs> bottle and gave bread um, breastfed them mm -hmm. when i was at home to what age till about nine months then i completely stopped them Unfortunately, I had one case that uh, my second child and the third, their age difference is just one. Mm -hmm. So I probably was pregnant when I was six months. Mm -hmm. So I stopped 
And when the brother turned one, I had to give birth to, this, <laughs> to the followers. So I think there was some misunderstanding. Now, did you like you ask the doctor if I could, if you could breastfeed a child even though you were pregnant? Of Will course, I, uh, I didn't. I just took that for granted and I went ahead. On, and uh, I think when I was breastfeeding, I started menstruating. So, you know, I, my mother used to tell me that when you are breastfeeding, you don't meet with, some, with your husband because it is going to spoil the milk of the child. But uh, again, I said, uh, I think this was not quite true. At least I did some biology. You had to do your safe period mm -hmm. to become pregnant. But I think she was right. And you did respect it. I didn't. So I found myself pregnant again. Oh, what, again. <laughs> so I had to stop even before the six months for the second child when I was pregnant with the third. Now, let me go back to you, uh, Nicoline. Do you have a child? Yeah, I do. Now, how did you feed the child? Did you give the child breast milk for how long? Um, actually, being a young mother, at that time I was just 18 and I had to go back to school. So I had to breastfeed my son just for three months. Why? Because, because of school, you yeah. could not like Mixed, exactly. stony, sweet. And I was going to the university by then, so I had to leave the baby behind with my mom and go back to school. So it wasn't that easy for me to take him along. I had to, I had to leave him behind. Now, for the first three months, how did you do it? Um, it was exclusively breastfeeding, mm -hmm. nothing else. Mm -hmm. I had to make sure I gave him the breast sufficiently enough to enable me to pull on my studies. Now, were you so excited to breastfeed your, your child or your mother, like, advise you to do so because it's the best thing you could give to your child or you just, like, said, then you also breastfeed my child? Um, at that point, it, I, it was not an option. I had no choice. I just had to do it. Were you encouraged? Yeah, I was. By who? Because it's a pride to breastfeed your son mm -hmm. or your child. So I felt that's the least I could do for him. So I had to do it. <laughs> but all your friends, they would have girls in the semi, with their age, who are not like excited to do so. Yeah, I must confess, I usually, I used to feel a type, especially <laughs> when I see my friends, I would like try to hide behind to do it. <laughs> but at one point I got used to, so. It means that like you had to breastfeed your child, you had to go to the room yeah, to do so you cannot exactly. see. Exactly. <laughs> Among your friends and do so. Is it a case with you? Um, for, me, I to you? for me, I was really excited. So I didn't even care where I was breastfeeding my <laughs> child. You know, being a mother, I said at 29, you know, maybe she was quite young. Me, 29, I think was quite a, a old for me. So, you know, having a child at that age, I said, oh my God. I'm so happy. Wherever the child cries, wherever I don't, <laughs> I don't care. I just had to breastfeed her. So it was really exciting, you know, and that, you know, that contact, the baby and the mother, you see the child when you are breastfeeding, the gest that she's doing, you know, you feel so excited. There's some connection, yeah, there some is. kind of strong connection between the child and the mother when you are breastfeeding. It's, it's really wonderful. You know, but you know, my friends, as she said, they used to say, no, Maria, why don't you give the child a bottle, you know? You start, I said, no, I don't think. I think my husband also encouraged me because he's that kind of a conservative person who want to follow the norms. He said, you have to breastfeed this child by all means. No, no, no artificial milk, you have to. But sometimes it's tiring, huh? I think this young girl is tiring. Every minute the child cries, you think the child is not full. You just have to give the child breast milk, you know. Now, the, so, the moment you breastfed your child, did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy doing it? Um, I, I would say I did because there As are a times, young girl? Yeah, being a young girl, I would say I did because there are times you have to get up in the night to breastfeed your child and it's exciting. It's mm -hmm. It's something you've never done before and you get to tell your friends that you know I get up I get up very early in the morning, late at night just to breastfeed. The whole thing is so exciting. <laughs> now, as a Marie, did you why did you choose to breastfeed your child? You know, uh, the Bible says it. You know, God gave us this breast for it to produce milk for the child. Even in the dictionary, when you go the first 
definition of breast is that the breast is there when you're pregnant it has to produce milk for the child and I think breastfeeding the milk there is so natural it's so protective you don't have it's even I mean you don't have to waste time washing your hands taking care there are so many advantages of breastfeeding your baby there are so many even the child becomes now, what are the advantages you know hygiene hygiene wise you don't have to start sterilizing bottles you know I mean even if you have a babysitter those who are working you leave them you don't know what it is how they mix the milk, what kind of water they use, but breast, I mean the milk that comes is so protective, nutritive. so natural, nutritive, everything is there. So I don't see any reason why a mother shouldn't breastfeed the child, except, you know, some cases when you see women with big bust, it doesn't really flow. But those who have little small breasts, the milk is really there. I have an experience with my daughter lately, you know, she has big bust. You know, the milk couldn't come out. I was so angry. We did everything. We went to the pediatrician. They prescribed. The breast didn't flow. It flew only for about, uh, let me say, two months. And it stopped. I don't know why, you know. And she herself was disturbed because she had the intention of breastfeeding the child as long as she is on maternity leave. But unfortunately, it didn't flow. Now, Nicole, why do you think a woman will stop or will refuse breastfeeding her child? Um, I wouldn't call it a refusal or <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes a giving birth comes with a lot of constraints. Sometimes you might be working, you might be going to school, you might be doing your business. There are so many other things you might be doing. So I wouldn't call it a refusal. So if you're working, you have to stop breastfeeding your child? It's a decision, I should say so. Sometimes you decide not to breastfeed because of those constraints we just talked about. And when we will talk about that, let's watch uh, this report by Regina uh, Leke. She has been talking to some midwives and women. Let's watch this report right back. According to recent statistics in Cameroon, only 28.2% of children are exclusively fed on breast milk before the age of six months. Exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months has enormous benefits. Breast milk is very good and effective. It prevents the baby from diverse infections. This is because breast milk does not only feed the baby, but also protects the baby. Just like adults, a baby needs a comfortable position to be able to savour its food. At this health center, this official explains to nursing mothers how to position their babies when breastfeeding them. Formerly, mothers infected with HIV were excluded from giving breast milk to their babies. But today, babies of mothers infected with HIV can receive breast milk thanks to the advancement in anti-retroviral treatment. HIV positive mothers can breastfeed on condition she takes her anti-retroviral drugs. During her anti-nental treatment, if she is diagnosed HIV positive, we put her on a treatment. This treatment will continue to the end of her life. This way, it prevents her from infecting her baby. During this breastfeeding week, health officials will be educating mothers about the importance of breastfeeding their babies. Globally, nearly two out of three infants are not exclusively breastfed for the recommended uh, six months or rate that has remained steady for the past two decades. Now, are you shocked with the statistics? Very, very shocked. That I even thought that the breastfeeding with all the education they are giving women, I mean, I thought more women would breastfeed their children at this age. But if that's the statistics, I'm really, really embarrassed. But there might be so many reasons why this drop in breastfeeding. Probably some men will not want their wives to breastfeed their children. They want to keep the shape of their, their wives, their breasts. But those breasts were not meant for them. They should know that, you know, it's part a compliment in their beauty, but, you know, it is exclusively, exclusively to breastfeed, to produce milk for their children. Now, you, have, think, mm -hmm. you think a, a, a man will want to see a healthy baby, you know, you want to see your child growing healthily, healthily. 
not that because you want to keep the shape of your wife. I mean, your wife remains your, I mean, private beauty in your room. You know, seeing your baby growing healthily, you will be very, very happy. Does it mean you're blaming the mental somehow for like... I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to say the men. Maybe the women also will want to say, I want to keep my shape. You know, women these days, young <laughs> girls like Nicoline will say, I want to maintain my shape. My breasts should be up. You know, this kind. But it depends. You know, this uh, flabby breast. If you have flabby muscles, yeah. it will fall whether you breastfeed your child or not. Yeah. There are some young girls these days, you look at them, they are all, their breasts are all, you know, falling. They have not even breastfed their children. Now, is it normal for a man to refuse a woman or his wife from breastfeeding the child? Not at all. It isn't. Because just like mommy said, it's, it's a pride for a man to see the son or the daughter growing up healthily and in good shape and in good condition. So the man, I think the man should rather encourage the wife to breastfeed By doing what? By not throwing insults at her because sometimes men have the attitude mm -hmm. of telling the wives, oh, look at that breast, it's falling off. And mm -hmm. I guess you should do something about it. And automatically the lady starts having uh, um, um, she starts, psychological, yeah, psychological effects. effects. And she starts thinking, oh, I need to stop this thing because my husband is complaining already. Mm -hmm. So I guess what the men should do is they shouldn't complain. They should encourage their wives to don't, breastfeed. Don't you think the way the women to dispose of their breasts to can cause a man to just like get angry about it? You know, it's preferable to advise them that if you want to breastfeed your child, go somewhere yeah. and do it, you exactly. know, do it. Uh, modestly, mm -hmm. because I know some women, even mm -hmm. on the street, they just remove the thing like that and start I putting on the, you know. But uh, uh, I think a matured woman will not do it. You know, sometimes even you take your hands and cover your breast, mm -hmm. and just the nipple is out mm -hmm. where you where it is really covered. Yes, where exactly. it is really necessary. <laughs> you have to breastfeed the child. Mm -hmm. You can put your hand, you cover just the nipple will go mm -hmm. out. I think uh, I I'm, I just want to advise the men that they shouldn't insist on their wives not breastfeeding their children. Because some actually, and sometimes some men are jealous. When you see the, the yeah. especially a boy child, exactly. you're feeding your boy child and the child you is get jealous. Yes, he, he gets somehow jealous. The, the baby is there manipulating the mother, you know, it's sometimes. True. I must say I had that experience. You see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the father of my child, he was so uncomfortable seeing me feeding my, breastfeeding my son. He was like each time telling him, hey, hurry up and leave this thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think mommy is right. And is so that now. what made you to stop? Or is it because you had to, had to, had to, had to, go, to go back to school? Now that you, you breastfed your child mm -hmm. when you were 18, now did your breast like fall? fall? No, fall? not actually. No, it didn't. Sometimes my friends, I, uh, my new friends, those who don't mm -hmm. know I even have a child, they are surprised. They are like, do you have a child? Are you serious? And I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> so they are, they are like surprised that your yeah. breasts are still firm. Everything is still in place. When you have you, you exactly. breastfed your child, I mean, uh, uh, some years back. Now, you know, you, Maury, you know, this thing of falling breasts mm -hmm. is the firmness of the body, oh, the no. skin. Because, you know, when you, when, you, when you are pregnant, your muscles of the breast, they expand. And if you have a firm muscle, when you breastfeed the child, they remain the same. I think I always want to quote myself. Me, I think I'm a little bit flabby. The first time I breastfed, you know, I had, you know, my breasts were falling. Mm -hmm. Even women, they know that young girls, when they even commit abortion, some mm -hmm. of them, their yeah. breasts are already falling. <laughs> they should know that they forget to know that, you know. So those are the things that we should advise. But it is good to breastfeed your child. Young girls who are growing up, who are getting, I mean, planning to get married. My son-in-laws, my future son-in-laws, biological or not, I will advise them, encourage your wives no, to breastfeed no, I just, your I children. Just, I'm just so curious. I want to find out that with the fallen breast, was your man still with you, still oh, eager? No, no, he was. No, he didn't care. He didn't. Once the child is healthy, for him, once the child is healthy, there's no problem. Then no Nicoline, you see yourself lucky, or that <laughs> if your breasts were like falling, I, I can't. The I man can't you had, you think would have just accepted you the way you are? 
I can't actually tell because it's my first pregnancy and who knows, maybe the next one might be different. <laughs> but I pray it shouldn't be so. <laughs> Good evening. We have reactions already coming. Good evening. I'm Cynthia in Bamenda. I think some women refuse to breastfeed because they are scared their breasts will fall. Are you getting the reactions coming in? Uh, the paradox today is that most women uh, cherish their breasts at the detriment of their children for fear of having fallen breasts. Now, you just talk something on that. Can you advise uh, Cynthia in Bamenda on what? I mean, she should just like get she out, take of, her it head out of her take it out head. of her head. You know that if you breastfeed your child, your breasts are going to to be flabby. I don't think so. I've always said when you have a flabby body, I think your breasts will fall because when it shrinks after breastfeeding, it will, no, normally. But there are breast wears. You know, only your husband will see your your, your nakedness. Now I, I want to ask you, Nicoline, who do you think the woman should adhere to? As take care of the baby or the man. <laughs> Children are God's gift, and the man should know that. The man should be aware of the fact that that child came because he's together with the wife. Mm -hmm. The child is a blessing. So, I guess I think the woman should concentrate more on the child. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's a difficult mm -hmm. question. You know, when you are going in for marriage, you always know that your husband is the first baby. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is to try to convince him, to explain to him, you know, what it is. Because some of them probably they don't know that breastfeeding a child is good, but you have to educate them, talk to them nicely. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, you know, kind to be harsh. You don't, than, you you don't have to be harsh. You always say, you know, you neglect him and take care of the baby, you know, for that. <laughs> for Even that. when he keeps on insisting that you, you should have not, you should don't stop. Have, no, you just, it's understanding. Yeah. You know, marriage is understanding, mm -hmm. dialogue. Mm -hmm. I don't think, and if you dialogue with him and explain everything to him, I think mm -hmm. And if the man sees you stop when you don't want to stop, what do you do? How do you react? Uh, just like Mama said, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to keep insisting, keep persuading him, telling him the importance mm -hmm. of breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. I guess he's a human being. He won't be change and he won't understand. Because we've had uh, quarrels or fighting between couples just because of that. I've hardly heard about that. I don't want probably, I don't know. I haven't heard about it much of them. Now let's watch uh, this uh, report by Gladys Ambu. She looks at the benefits of breastfeeding. We'll be right back. Milk is an ideal nutrition for infants because it contains antibodies that helps the baby fight off viruses and bacteria. While mothers who breastfeed their babies burn extra calories and build a bond between her and her baby. Pour la mama. The bond between the mother and the baby grows stronger when the child breastfeeds. It portrays love, affection, and has been prescribed as a good family planning method. Any woman who breastfeeds her baby regularly can live for up to six months without menstruating, which means she cannot conceive during that period. Breastfeeding also lowers the risk of breast and ovarian cancer. C'est de lui épargner de ses abcès de sein, de ses cancers de sein. Despite the psychological and physical benefits of breastfeeding to nursing mothers, about 50% of them hesitate to give their babies breast milk for fear of breastfeeding in public, having fallen breasts, and because of the flexibility of bottle feeding. Les jeunes mamans qui ne supportent pas souvent les tranchées utérines, c'est-à-dire les tranchées, c'est quoi? Most nursing mothers don't support abdominal pain, which is usually intense while breastfeeding, whereas continuous breastfeeding reduces the pain. By depriving the baby from breast milk, they also prevent the hormone oxytocin from reacting, which would have helped return her pre-pregnancy size and reduce uterine bleeding after birth. 
Despite the pains, mothers are advised to breastfeed their children, especially within the first six months. It saves money and time. Welcome back. I have uh, Anja Torres, an expert. She is a nutritionist. She will be talking to us on the importance of our breast feeding. I want to welcome you to the program. Thank you so much. Now we're talking about breastfeeding. Maybe I should start by asking you, do men have a role to play? Yeah, they do. Now what is the role of men? Um, before I answer that question, we are celebrating the 25th edition of the World Breastfeeding Week. We're in the week. week. This is the yeah, week, the breastfeeding week. breastfeeding week. And we are celebrating under the theme, Sustaining Breastfeeding. And sustainability involves every one of us, including the men. And they have their role. They do have a very vital role to, pray, to play. Because if a man does not support her woman, if the man doesn't support the woman, breastfeeding can never go. <laughs> Financial-wise, morally speaking, the man has a very big role to play as far as sustaining breastfeeding is concerned. Now, you just got that. <laughs> Quite interesting. What a man can do to ensure that the woman breastfeeds mm -hmm. the baby normally. Now, I want to come now to the importance of this breast milk. Because we have thousands of women out there who don't still know how important it is to breastfeed your children. How important is it? Breast milk is the only inexpensive, inexpensive, healthiest food for an infant the very first six months of life. And unfortunately, we have mothers who think that after six months, breast milk is no longer important. Mm -hmm. Whereas from six months, we talk about complementary feeding. What are we complementing? We are complementing breast milk, meaning it is still a very vital part of the baby's food and it just needs to be complemented. Now, breast milk is so very important because one, it is very rich and nutritious. Mm -hmm. It needs no pre 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 preparation. Mm -hmm. It is hygienic. It does not undergo go any preparation proce process and it is available, readily available. It creates a very close bonding between the mother and the child and it also helps the mother to return her, to, re to, re to recover her pre uh, uh, pregnancy size. But mothers don't know. Mothers think that when you're breastfeeding, you instantly gain more weight. Whereas a child who is well breastfed, the mother will instantly lose more calories because the, the reserve is constantly being used as milk. And the breast milk is also so very important because one, it it, it is very fundamental. It works as maybe a, a tool in the prevention of breast cancer. And, and, and it also... Um, helps the, in developing the child's immune system and the baby's brain very much more than any other food. Now, so it is ideal. All the importance of breast milk, well, these women still refuse to breastfeed their children. And they come for antenatal when they are pregnant. Ignorance and laxity. We are living in a world where nobody wants to sacrifice. People just want to be so comfortable in their little corner. Nobody wants, women prefer, mothers prefer to be on WhatsApp 24 on 24. They prefer to be on Facebook 24 on 24 rather than <coughs> sacrifice some little time. But if you're on WhatsApp, you can still put your phone and then <laughs> hold your phone in one hand and the baby. We wouldn't <laughs> even advise hand. that. Mm -hmm. a, the, now, what do you a, advise? A phone <laughs> is one thing that transmits uh, infection mm -hmm. a lot. We want mothers to concentrate when they are breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. Mothers should ad admit and accept that God gave them breast for one reason, to breastfeed. That is why they don't have flat chests like the men. Mm -hmm. So the breast was meant to breastfeed the child and not the father. And at the same time, yeah. men are scrambling for this breast. And they also have to understand that they need the children need a better future, and that future is built on breastfeeding, mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. breastfeeding practices. Now, do you think a child who is well breastfed is quite balanced. Quite balanced, yes. even when the child grows up. Mm -hmm. How? I think so. I have an experience with my children. I don't want to boast about mm -hmm. them, but I think most uh, the one that I breastfed uh, longer, you know, is stronger and he will hardly fall sick. Very strong. So immune. He's so resistant right up to today. Mm -hmm. So you see, um, from all the advantages that uh, our sister has given, I don't see any reason. You know, this problem of breastfeeding, I think 
uh, the rural women do it more than the women in the in the cities. Is that some, the rural some, women they have more time. They to go to the farm. They have but they, they so carry their activities. babies to the farm, and you know. For for uh, women in the urban town, they think it's a kind of mode of life. If you are not, if you are breastfeeding your child, they, they look at you as a local woman. You know, young girls today, you say, "I'm feeding my child. My child is taking bottle." You know, they say it with all pride, mm -hmm. forgetting to know that breastfeeding is very important. And you can see the difference if you look at a woman who breastfeeds a child exclusively for six months. You see how healthy the child is. I mean, even when they go to prenatal, they should educate. I think they should sensitize. You know, most women, they don't go for prenatal. In, the, in those days, they used to gather women. They would sing songs, you know, educate them. But now, these days, I don't know what is actually happening. Is, is, you know? Can we say, in, is it that the information, the women don't get the right information, they don't absorb it? What they is get, the problem? They because they go for antenatal. Yeah. What is happening? One of the reasons is that the health personnel, especially, they are not models, and they are supposed to be models. We have, we found, we have, we are, we are in a in a in a country where the things we say we don't do them, and people cannot get to learn from us because if you're living in an environment where you have health personnel, you go to the hospital, you tell the women to do exclusive breastfeeding, and around your vicinity, you don't breastfeed, you're giving milk to the child, and every other person is seeing that you're giving the milk, they will know that what we are telling them is a joke. We have to be examples, we have to be models to the society. The women, they hear it, but because health personnel have just they turned to it into a play, the practice into because a joke, yeah. You actually see some of them, but they don't do what they are saying. That's it, not at all. Now, let's get some reactions. Hello, guys, I really love the program. The topic is really interesting from Christian Kongsamba, uh, Christian Konanga in Yaoundé. Unless otherwise stated, breast milk is very essential for a growth of a child. Mother should endeavor to give breast milk from uh, Frida K-Town. Hello, it is Zilot from uh, Yaoundé. Some women refuse due to a medical condition. For example, a doctor can tell you uh, that you have HIV and uh, should not breast a feed. Is this, in this case, it is out of love. The mother does not give milk. Now, can you react to that? Yeah, HIV does not stop any mm -hmm. woman from breastfeeding, especially in the developing world. Mm -hmm. The WHO adopted breastfeeding as an option for HIV-positive mothers in the developing mm -hmm. world. Because for a mother who is HIV-positive in this developing world not to breastfeed, she has to meet what we call a fast. And what is a fast? Is it acceptable in her community not to breastfeed? Is it feasible not to breastfeed? Is it affordable, affordable not to breastfeed? And I doubt if many people afford not breastfeeding is it sustainable and is it safe she should meet all of these things if she doesn't meet them then she should she breastfeed not. her baby okay. now every positive woman who is on antiretrovirus can breastfeed her baby with follow up the woman is followed up in the hospital the woman breastfeeds without any problem but it means the women need to go to the hospital immediately yeah. you know they are pregnant they go for antenatal yeah. yes. they go for constant checkup yeah. and the doctor will tell you if you're you can't breastfeed your baby or not. Now, in what other circumstances can a woman not breastfeed her child? We have what we call galactosemia. It's, it's when the child, it is, um, uh, uh, the child does not tolerate uh, breast milk because of the presence of lactose. It happens. It's a very rare mm -hmm. condition, mm -hmm. but it, it happens. It's, it's, it happens around us. Mm -hmm. I think if not for that, and maybe some women who can be on chemotherapy for cancer, cancer drugs, I think every other woman it's, can it's, it's, it's not possible for yeah. women who have these heart-related diseases or... Women with a heart possible? problem, I think it doesn't stop breastfeeding, but the problem is just that for children who are heavy feeders, and if the mother is not on a good diet, it can be give, causing a lot of palpitations mm -hmm. on the mother. If not, that is not contraindicated. We have galactosemia, that's in case of uh, lactose intolerance. The child cannot tolerate lactose. The woman can, the child will not even be able to tolerate the breast milk. But it's a very rare condition. If not in this condition, the mother should not breast Now, let, let's talk about weight. Did you gain some weight when you were breastfeeding your child or your children? You know, we always take that for because we eat a lot. We eat a lot of controllable because we want the breast milk to, milk to flow. So I think I had a lot of weight. Because I was, I was eating, 
They say when you eat, you drink, uh, you know, a bottle of beer, it will flow. <laughs> you know, some, I mean, all those things, I think, make women to, as she has said, she is a specialist. He said, even this breastfeeding can, if we don't know, we are ignorant, it can reduce our weight. Because as many times as you feed the child, I think you lose some weight also. But if you want to exaggerate and start eating anyhow, because you say, my ch I'm breastfeeding my child, you gain weight. But if you follow the normal norms, at least you lose weight. I'm telling young girls, please, it's good to feed. And you know, God is a wonderful person. As she has said, even women with HIV, can you imagine? I even thought that they don't feed their, but it has made it in a way that they can feed their babies. Even if sperms can, I mean, a, a, a man with <laughs> HIV can impregnate a woman and it doesn't contaminate. So, you see, everything is natural. When God is in it, it is very natural. And I've seen women who have, like, grown a lot of weight when they breastfeed. What happens? The truth is that when a woman is breastfeeding, she feels hungry oh, faster than normal. That is a fact. But now the foods that provoke breast milk, that, 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 uh, help breast milk to flow does mm -hmm. not cause women to gain weight. Mm -hmm. So when mothers feel hungry because they are breastfeeding, as a result of breastfeeding, they tend to eat anything. Mm -hmm. So if you eat water for food today and you <laughs> eat rice a, a, a spaghetti and egg tomorrow mm -hmm. and you eat fried ri rice the other day and you eat roasted fish and roasted chicken the other day, you are feed feeding yourself fat. But mm -hmm. it will not, those things will not help breast milk to flow. Mm -hmm. What makes breast milk to flow is enough fluids, enough fruits, enough vegetables. Mm -hmm. It is not the, 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 the accumulation of the mm -hmm. other things. We just want to bite bread chocolate. It will never make breast milk to flow. And you will put on weight and breast milk will not be flowing. Mommy just said something here about uh, taking some maybe buffered light to <laughs> provoke the milk flow. What happens is that when a woman takes alcohol while breastfeeding, it 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 it, it, it drunkens the child and the child sleeps <laughs> off for days and the child stops crying and the mother goes happy that that thing is working like magic okay. mm -hmm. it is not working like magic it is damaging the baby's brain and it is doing more harm to the baby than good what now others wine? others will not even just want to even eat mm -hmm. They refuse to eat and the breast does not flow and yeah. they just say my breast is not exactly. flowing and i cannot breastfeed have you have seen such cases yeah. yes yes of course i said my daughter i experienced it with my daughter she she was even eating she drank a lot of fluid you know we even went to a nutritionist the prescribed kind of food that she should eat but the breast didn't flow so i she had to stop uh, around three months breastfeeding the child. I don't know how a nutritionist would explain that, you know. <laughs> I said maybe she has so, uh, the breasts are so big and it, it, milk doesn't flow. Now, hello, good evening. I am a little confused here. It is, is it sucking or touching that causes <laughs> the breast to fall? Give our direct that question to What you. causes breastosis? We call it breastosis, P-T-O-S-I-S, -S, breast sagging. Okay. It's not breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. It is um, the, 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 the type of muscle mm -hmm. the woman is having. Mm -hmm. It is the, the number of pregnancies mm -hmm. the person has mm -hmm. carried mm -hmm. that will cause uh, the breast to fall and age as well. Age, even in a woman who does not have very, very soft muscle, will cause the breast to flow even if she has never put to birth. Mm -hmm. So it is not the child sucking the breast that makes the breast to fall. Let's stop deceiving ourselves and breastfeed <laughs> our children. Now, why should uh, women refuse a baby's breast but allow men to who play rough on it? Golden in barefoot. Sorry? He's saying why should women refuse babies to breastfeed but allow the men who play rough on it and cause it to fall? The, the women are just being foolish. Um, I mean, <laughs> You will not allow a man to play with your breast and then you leave your child malnourished because a man wants to play with your breast. That's just being foolish. Even the men who stop their wives from breastfeeding, I don't think it is proper, you know. It is not. Hello, turn up host. I am Dorothy from Yaoundé. I really don't see why any mother would refuse uh, to breastfeed. It is the safest and most nourishing method of feeding. Hi, I am Alinda writing from Tumbel. I am HIV positive, but despite uh, checks, I am scared giving my baby breast milk. Wow. Um, 
Linda, I would like to talk to Linda particularly. I have a very soft spot for those exposed babies. Mm -hmm. Exposed babies are infants born mm -hmm. to HIV positive women. Mm -hmm. They go through a lot of trauma. And one thing now in the society is that people know that when they are not breastfeeding, it's because they are yeah. positive. Mm -hmm. HIV. But Linda, yes. you have to know that with HIV, you can give birth like every other normal woman, carry the normal number of pregnancies you wanted, and breastfeed your children, but not above one year. Don't be scared, but if you are not psychologically prepared, you meet a specialist or a counselor to talk with you one on one. Now, as a working mother, was it possible for you to breastfeed your children and then go to work normally and come back? How did you do it? You know, I'm a teacher, so I had uh, all the time to do. If you have classes for so two hours, you just go two hours and you run back home to breastfeed. So I didn't have much of that uh, inconvenience mm -hmm. as a working mother all through my life. But, you know, women who are working, you know, eight to two, I mean, they can uh, suck the, uh, out the breast and put it in a bottle. I think the nutritionist is safe. They put it in the fridge, I suppose. When the child is crying, you know, I have friends who do that. You know, they put it in the bottle, preserve it very well. They don't give their children uh, bottles. You know, they only put it in the bottle, keep it. When the baby is crying, you hit it and you give the child. I haven't experienced that. You know, <laughs> so I'm very lucky <laughs> no, in my profession. Why you didn't, you know? were you scared to do that? No, I or didn't. I, I mean, I had enough have... time mm -hmm. and my breast was really flowing. You know, you have classes for two hours, three hours, you run back home mm -hmm. and you breastfeed your child. I never did that. You now, how to squeeze out breast from your milk and you put it somewhere in a bottle, put it in the fridge? Is it safe for the baby? Very safe, we must remember. Breast milk is very rich and contains a lot of antibodies. Uh, uh -huh. Breast milk can be expressed and kept. You're expressing at, it from your Yeah, breast. expressed. We, uh -huh. we call it breast milk expression. Uh -huh. can be expressed directly from the mother's uh -huh. breast manually or with the breast pump uh -huh. and kept. In room at room temperature mm -hmm. for eight hours. Mm -hmm. Now, if it is not at room temperature, which means even mothers who don't have fridges can still do exclusive mm -hmm. breastfeeding. So, you can, if no, if if they don't have a fridges, they can express it and keep at room temperature. And if they keep in the fridge, it can go for 24 to 48 hours mm -hmm. in the normal fridge. Mm -hmm. But if it's in the freezer, it can go for more than a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah can go for more than a month. You just need to label it and, then and when it is frizzed, when yeah. it is frizzed, what do you do? You keep when it, it is frozen, you just remove it from the fridge, okay. from the freezer. Okay. You turn it, you put it on, in the in the fridge to defrost on its own. Okay. Then when it when it has defrosted, if when they want to give to the child, they should just stand it, stand the container in hot water, and bring it to body temperature as the breast milk, okay. and then they give the child. Now, when does it become safe for the baby? The milk That's that milk. Milk. Mm -hmm. Once the baby has been fed with milk that was defrosted, it, mm -hmm. the baby should not be given back that very milk. Mm -hmm. If you bre if you give the milk to the child and there is any leftover, discard it. Mm -hmm. Because you have brought it to normal temperature, any remaining milk should be discarded. And now, w women have this belief that when you're breastfeeding your child, you cannot have any sexual relationship with your <laughs> husband. You just like spoiling the milk. the milk to go bad. <laughs> Now, <laughs> yes, I, I had that experience because my mother will always warn me as you have that, I mean, you are breastfeeding this child, please mm -hmm. don't meet with your husband, mm -hmm. don't meet with your oh, she will always. And I actually, I followed, mm -hmm. I, I respected her, mm -hmm. you know, they will always because they will always say what I'm telling you is true, and I try to manage. Uh, my husband, also, as I said, he will always support. You say, okay, if well, your mother said so, no problem. So you did not like uh, have any sexual no, intercourse until, uh, until while I, you were breastfeeding? No, I didn't. I didn't. And how did your so husband I, react I, to I, that? I told you that the time that I tried, I became pregnant. Mm -hmm. You know, for my third child, mm -hmm. you know. He, 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 he persevered. Well, when I tried it, I just became pregnant. When I started, I did not, you mm -hmm. know, that the second child, you know, I didn't menstruate when I was breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. So I tried once, <laughs> and the thing, <laughs> I, so I think I don't know how true that is, that it spoils the milk when you are breastfeeding, you make love. So you have to listen to your mother's advice, not just, you just, no, I just it go. I you just abstain. You just abstain, and yeah, your husband just takes it. He did. 
All right. Now, is it normal or oh, that uh, a woman <laughs> who is in a relationship or oh, having a sexual intercourse while is breastfeeding can the milk get bite? It's, it's very risky for a marriage that a woman is breastfeeding and <laughs> that, is a, that is a very big temptation to mm -hmm. the man and it, we, we discourage it with mm -hmm. all our heart. We used to ask our French speaking mothers, mm -hmm. Est-ce que ce qui garde l'enfant? And the answer is no. The sperms have nothing to mm -hmm. do with mm -hmm. breast milk. They have no connection with breast milk. Mm -hmm. A woman can comfortably have sex with her husband as many times as they want, but what we encourage strongly is that the woman should always choose a family planning method while doing that. Because a woman's body is not a machine, the woman needs rest, the uterus needs to rest mm -hmm. and prepare before in the next child is coming. So the, 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 the uterus should not just be struggling to go back and then going back with another child. It's risky to the mother and also risky to the child at hand because she will not have time to care for the baby in the uterus. So what you're saying is that the woman the needs to satisfy hand. the man, but at her, at her own risk. Not at her risk. Let her choose. Because the she can easily, she can easily get pregnant. <laughs> she won't period. get pregnant with a family planning method. I doubt. Let her go to any uh, women's health program or any family planning unit. What let, let, let's have take it that right? she does not want to have any. No, she she's should. afraid to take contraceptives. No, she should do that. It's necessary. It does. It, 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 it is good. It is safe for her. It is safe for her. It's safe for the family. It is good. It's high time we should face the truth and stop deceiving mothers. Mothers have this notion in their heads that family planning. Is good, it is it bad, it is good. I want to ask my sister a question. You know, sometimes when you go to bed, you don't menstruate immediately. Yeah. You can stay for about six months without menstruating. Mm -hmm. During that time, don't you think you can be pregnant? Mm -hmm. Very true. That is why we, 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 we encourage that as a method of family planning only in maybe rural areas where mothers don't even know about family planning practices. But in urban towns, we cannot tell you that as long as you are breastfeeding and as long as your menses have not returned, you can never be pregnant. No. You no. can't be pregnant, but that is also a method of birth control. I want to say that because you can, within that six months, you are not menstruating. Maybe within that time, you are having, you know, you, you, you have an intercourse, you might be pregnant. Yeah. So that family planning, how do we plan it to avoid that pregnancy? I think my mother used her own common sense, you know, to say that maybe what you are saying that you, the woman needs, the body needs rest. That is what she was thinking, but she could not come out plainly to say that. She just say no, abstain. No, no, that I was punishing my husband also. But if I had that family planning, I would know what to do it was very rare to see our mothers getting pregnant because, because they, they don't they what they our mothers were doing in, in those days is that they completely abstained for the two years mm -hmm. and the day the mm -hmm. husband is sleeping with them is to the impregnate them for the next child <laughs> now hello i am madame agbo writing from boyer i just i want to inform the medical personnel who said women can never be pregnant or during a breastfeeding it's not in all cases Mm -hmm. I didn't say they can never be pregnant. I said they mm -hmm. can be pregnant. Mm -hmm. I did not say they can't. Mm -hmm. I said they can be pregnant mm -hmm. while breastfeeding. So they should go for a family planning method to support the breastfeeding method. Hello, my wife breastfed our children with natural milk from her breast. Today they are very strong, Mr. Marcus Elangwe. Big, uh, big condo. I am Chris Hans writing from Kumba. A breast milk is the only food needed for by the body. I am a Vera from Santa. Please, what can I do to easily breastfeed my baby for the first time? I am an expecting mother. Maybe you wow. can answer <laughs> Vera. She's writing from Santa, not West region. Let her know it's just a natural process and mm -hmm. within the very first mm -hmm. one hour of delivery, mm -hmm. let her put her baby to the breast and let her eat right lots of fruits, lots of leafy vegetables and for the very first day of delivery, lots of citrus fruits. Citrus fruits are these yellowish fruits, fruits in the market and her breast milk will flow but she should be psychologically... And they used to say the first milk, those, that first milk, that first day is very, very important for a child. Yeah. You know, so you should. Hi, I am Robert from Boya. It is possible for a woman's breast not to flow after a child's birth. What is the cause and what can be done? Very briefly. 
Yeah, it is possible. It happens, but most often it's usually a psychological problem. If not, out of every 1,000 women who put to birth, 999 women's breasts. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is your advice to women who are getting out of time? Yeah, I advise them that they should take the natural method of breastfeeding their children. And they'll realize it. I want to give an example. I always quote myself, my last child, I breastfed that child for nine months. Nine good months. She's very intelligent. Very, very intelligent. And she will hardly fall sick. Unlike the others, I always say it is good to breastfeed your children. We shouldn't take uh, the Western model to say, no, I'm not breastfeeding my child. I don't want to. And please, men, I'm begging them that they should encourage their wives to breastfeed their children. Forget about that. Your, your wife's breast will be flabby. We have breast waste. We can only want to, there are gagas and amijekas, you want to do, if you want to, put, uh, your woman should look beautiful. They are breast wears. Please take care of those children. Now I want to thank you ladies for honoring our invitation. And to you out there, we say thank you for watching. Take another round the full same time next week. Bye-bye.